Hey everyone, and welcome to the Super Scripture Sunday, the day of the week that it sits down to the guys of the Scriptures with you in God's holy day of the week. Without any further ado, let's go ahead with it. So today we're reading St. Matthew chapter 13, verse 1 through 23. Without any further ado, let's go ahead with it. The parable of the sower. That same day Jesus went out of the house and sat by the lake. Such large crowds gathered around him that he got into a boat and sat in it, while all the people stood on the shore. Then he told them many things in parables, saying, A farmer went out to sow his seed. As he was scattering the seed, some fell along the path, and the birds came and ate it up. Some fell on rocky places where it did not have much soil. It sprang up quickly because the soil was shallow, but when the sun came up, the plants were scorched, and they withered because they had no root. Other seed fell among thorns, which grew up and choked the plants. Still other seed fell on good soil, where it produced a crop a hundred sixty or thirty times was sown. what was sown. Whoever has ears, let them hear. The disciple came to him and asked, Why do you speak to the people in parables? He replied, Because the knowledge of the secrets of the kingdom of heaven have I given to you, but not to them. Whoever has will will be given more, and they will have an abundance. Whoever does not have, even what they have will be taken from them. This is why... I speak to them in parables. Though seeing they do not see, though hearing they do not hear or understand, in them is fulfilled the prophecy of Isaiah. You will be ever hearing but never understanding. You will be ever seeing but never perceiving. For this people's heart has become calloused. They hardly hear with their ears and they hardly have clothes with their eyes. Otherwise they might see with their eyes and hear with their ears, understand with their hearts and turn, and I would heal them. But blessed are the eyes because they see, and your ears because they hear. For truly I tell you, many prophets and righteous people longed to see what you see, but did not see it, and to hear what you hear, but not, but did not hear it. Listen then, listen then to what the parable of the sower means. When anyone hears the message about the kingdom and does not understand it, the evil one comes and snatches away what was sown in the heart. This is, the, this is the seed sown along the path. The seed falling on rocky ground refers to someone who hears the word and at once receives it with joy. But since they have no root, they last only a short time. When trouble or persecution comes because of the word, they quickly fall away. The seed falling among the thorns refers to someone who hears the word. But the words of this life and the deceitfulness of wealth choke the word, making it unfruitful but the seed falling on good soil refers to someone who hears the word and understands it this is this is the one who produces a crop yielding 160 or 30 times what was sown anyway sorry yeah i know that's a long one this video is going to be quite long so i apologize for that but still i'm going to pray so if you really join me in this prayer dear god i ask if i was listening i this is screen that just may have a blessed day day and continue to pray with each and every one because it seems like this was getting harder living each every day just more and more evil things are happening every day, and it could be a sign that you're coming back soon. And there's so many people out there who just don't know the truth and are not saved yet. So I pray that as Christians, we may step into their lives, help reach lost souls, help save them from eternal damnation so that we can all go up above in heaven and live above in heaven with you forever. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. That's it for Super Scripture Sunday, so see you guys next time.